All right, here we go. So, here's the 1964 Chevrolet C20 that we purchased. Uh, it's got a lot of bodywork already done to it. It's uh, got a lot of new stuff already on it. The interior's got a lot of new stuff in it and everything. Everything works, uh, which is nice. So mechanically, everything works. I mean, I have the typical mechanical drips. <laughs> So everything has a small leak, so I have just tiny, teeny, tiny little puddles after a week of uh, diff fluid, uh, transmission fluid, and a little bit of oil, uh, which I would expect from a 1964 truck with who knows how many miles. So anyway, I bought this so it could be a family project. Yep, I'm even going to get my wife involved in on this and everything else. Both my sons, who are currently uh, five and a half years old. Yep, twins, but uh, I figure this will be a nice little uh, project. I mean, we're not going to go show truck or anything like that on it, but we will decide to go. Uh, the voice is probably, or the microphone's probably going to change here now I'm not I'm out of the garage, but but I want to get video before I start doing anything to the truck. And one thing I've done to the truck is drive it around and took it to a couple places to talk to them about body work and everything else. So, Anyway, so I'm going to video journal everything that we end up uh, doing to, to the truck here. So somebody put, well, the previous owner put a, a new bed in it. Only thing is they didn't treat any of the wood. So my first task I'm going to do right now is I'm going to completely take the entire bed out. And uh, we're going to do, I went online and checked a bunch of different uh, sites out and found a site that was actually pretty... Uh, pretty cool because they actually tested oak and pine planks and when they did all the testing they put everything in and then they coated it with different coatings so uh, and then they give the results after you know a year and then a couple of years of use to show what everything is uh, like as far as how it held up and everything else so I now know which route I want to go and everything so Dana 60 rear axle, 10 bolt. Uh, don't know the actual gears that are in it. I don't think they're horrible. Um, tried finding the identification code on there. I found some numbers, but it doesn't really match up with anything I'm finding on the internet as far as codes go. Uh, I'll do some more research on that. But it's got a four speed uh, manual transmission that is got a granny low on it and everything else. For the most part, it's pretty clean. I mean, there's some surface rust here and there, but it's a 52-year-old truck. What do you expect? I wouldn't expect anything less than that. Uh, the frame, for the most part, though, is completely uh, solid. It's got some surface rust on it where they remove some mounts and stuff like that. So, But I think it's going to be a fun project. Granted, it's a C20, so it's 8 lug front and back. Uh, I've already ordered uh, conversion kits. Uh, I ordered front disc system, eight lug system from CPP. Uh, and then I ordered the rear disc system from Lug Nuts 4x4 out of Tennessee. So now, granted, he did give me new cab supports, stuff like that, because there is some obviously cancer underneath here so the cab supports definitely need to be replaced so while I'm doing that uh, that's what I went around to try to find out how much is going to cost somebody to do that uh, I'm not confident enough to do the welding and stuff like that in, in a truck like this so I want them to do that I want them to replace a little bit of the floorboard on the ends where some of the junk is and then uh, and then the cab corners on the uh, on the back here where there's just a little bit of just needs a, pretty much a patch job there and then the bushings here but uh other than that um yeah i'm excited to get this project started uh, also looking at doing uh, a suspension upgrade from cpp as well so replacing everything out of here with all their tubular stuff 
I'm going to do some more research on that before I finally decide on all that, but but for the most part, like I said, I'm oh, sorry, I know I'm showing the same area over and over again. Here's the interior. So once again, like I said, the guy came through and did a lot of the work in here, so a lot of it's good to go. Got myself a Walter. Uh, oh, I don't know if I actually said it or not, but the boys, they decided to name the truck. So the truck is now known as Steve. So this is now going to be referred to as Project Steve. And definitely looking forward to getting Project Steve going. Plan on having, like I said, the whole family help out. So got the uh, behind the seat gas tank in here this is getting removed uh, right now i'm looking at a boyd uh boyd welding gas tank that'll go in the back there and then i'll flush mount the gas cap in the bed so another reason why i'm taking the bed out so this way when all that stuff comes in the bed will already be removed and i can uh, have an easier time installing that as you can see my boys uh enjoy putting the tailgate down and jumping around on it what can you expect? Five-year-olds. It's a bit of a truck. They love it. So now, the story uh, I was told about this box, though, they give me a little storage box back here. A bunch of the new, uh, little new stuff thing that you give out, like cab supports, right there and there. All new weather stripping for the doors. But uh, supposedly this box was, uh, it's about 100 years old. Um, the previous owner, he, his grandfather, uh, the previous owner, owner, and I guess he's in his uh, 60s now or something like that. But his grandfather, uh, when he worked at the stockyards, when they were tearing them down, I guess, he took a bunch of the wood and he ended up building this box. So, but uh, I actually like this box a lot. I think this is going to be pretty pretty useful, you know, go out to grandpa and grandma's and we take the guns or anything like that. We can lock them up back here and go out there and do some target practice and stuff like that. But... Anyway, a lot of people probably just show what's inside the engine compartment. So it's got a 350 V8. It runs pretty strong, so I can't complain about that. Like I said, they uh, they did a lot of work. I mean, there's there's like a little bit of a little bit of you know rot up in here, but. Once again, I'm not too overly concerned about that just right now. I mean, knocking on all of it, it all sounds like metal on the outside. So, but I think they replaced, I think they replaced this front fascia right here. So I think that's the reason why there's no, no rot in that. Because they said that they did replace a lot of the body panels. So uh, I definitely need to adjust the, the hood though. It's rubbing a little bit on the primer, which is okay because I plan on sanding a lot of this down and giving it that patina look anyway. Uh, giving it just sanded in certain areas and everything else, which that'll be an area where I'll have the boys come out, you know, and they can sand it a little bit with daddy and. But anyway, so there you go. Uh, this video is about nine minutes long, so well, it would be about 10 minutes long. But if you have any uh, inputs or if you've ever worked on a older C20 or a C10, have uh, tips, tricks, anything like that that you'd like to pass along, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it because most people who know me from my YouTube videos will know that I've mostly worked on just Subarus. Granted, you know, when I was younger, I had American V8s, but kind of got out of that for a while and I needed a truck. So I figured what better way to do it than having an old classic truck. Kind of reminds me of uh, the trucks I used to work, have to use at work. And plus uh, my dad had an old truck too. So it's kind of cool, reminiscent of my childhood. I think that's the reason why a lot of people do this is one, it's cool and two, it's just brings back a little bit of their childhood and like I said my boys they love it so hopefully it'll be uh, great memories for their childhood too and it'll be a great truck for when they get to high school
So, all right. Well, anyway, you all take care. Please leave comments below. And uh, if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. And I'll try to keep you all updated as we go.